Hello everyone, I'm here at the Lindsay Drive Test Center and I will be showing you route number one for the G-Test. Uh, when you come here uh, to uh, the plaza for uh, a road test, for your G-Test, uh, there are uh, parking uh, spaces here. You will have to park your car in one of the designated parking spaces. Uh, unfortunately, here at Lindsay Drive Test Center, the parking spaces do not have any numbers, um, but uh, you will have to, it's recommended that you park your car in reverse. Uh, once you park your car, then you will have to go inside the Drive Test Center uh, and you will have to uh, there are designated uh, kiosks for the road test you will have to enter your driver's license number once you enter that your appointment will pop up and then once your appointment pop up then uh, you click on it it will take you to the next screen um, then the kiosk will ask you a couple of questions if you if you are wearing any eyeglasses if you are please make sure you have your eyeglasses on you if you don't then uh, they will not uh, they can refuse the road test uh, or um, they you will have to redo the division test the second question if you have any medical conditions so obviously you're here for the road test and um, so you can put no for that and if you do have a medical uh, condition then it's not recommended that you go for your road test after that uh, the kiosk will ask you how many times uh, you have driven on the highway depending on the number of uh, times that you have driven on the highway you will have to enter the number and the next question will be how many times on a 400 series highway 400 series highways is like 401, 412, 404, those highways. So you enter a number and then it will ask you uh, what was your average trip uh, on the highway. So normally for students, we put uh, 5 to 15 kilometers. Uh, that would be the average uh, distance um, and then um, the kiosk will ask the next screen will be about your vehicle vehicle information so you will have to put in the make of your vehicle if it's a toyota honda whatever it is you put that in the color of your vehicle uh, your license plate number and uh, the parking space so here at lindsay you'll have to enter front uh, for lindsay and once you do that uh, then the kiosk will give you a ticket you grab the ticket you come to your car uh, sit in the car and you will be waiting for the examiner while you're waiting for the examiner please make sure that you have your um, mirrors adjusted uh, your seat is adjusted and also please make sure that you have your seat belt on and wait for the examiner the examiner will come to your car please make sure you start the car you know you should know how to start the car and then the examiner will come from the left side make sure you bring down roll down your uh, window and then uh, they will ask for your driver's license so you present your driver's license the examiner will introduce himself or herself and then will ask for your full name you say your full name and then your date of birth once you do that then the examiner will ask you to beep the horn so you'll have to beep the horn and then the examiner will go to the front of your car and will ask you for the right signal then left signal and then the examiner will go to the back of your car and will ask you for the right signal then left signal and after that, the examiner will ask you to step on the brake. You step on the brake, take your foot off the brake and all that. After that, the examiner will come sit beside you. And once the examiner sits beside you, will read some stuff from their iPad. And then you'll have to uh, sign the iPad. And then the examiner will give you direction. So remember, examiners do not give instructions. They only give directions. So and then they will ask you to go left here. So when you're leaving, uh, please make sure you put your car in drive. And when you put your car in drive, make sure you do a good 360 degrees check. Check all around, all around. And then when you're leaving, just nice and slowly, please make sure that you have your signal on and look for any pedestrians, any cars or anything on your way. Keep on checking. So I have a pedestrian, I will wait. So do not move if there is any pedestrian on your way. Keep looking left, right, drive halfway in. And once you drive halfway in, then make your left turn right here. Just like that. So in here, um, if there are uh, cars in front of you, please make sure you're not blocking the intersection. Just wait here until that car is cleared. And when that car is cleared, then you can move forward. Have your signal on, mirror, signal blind spot to the right. There is no stop sign here, but I would recommend that you come to a slow stop. Check left side for any cars coming, no cars. Check a blind spot and then go. The speed limit here is 40. Please make sure you do not exceed 40 speed limit. Any streets, any intersection coming your way, please check left, right. Look, and from here, they will ask you to go right. So have your check your rear view mirror, signal to the right, check your blind spot to the right. 
and then there's a one-way stop sign we will be turning right here so when uh, when you're stopping behind another car please make sure that you are stopping in a good distance you should be able to see the tires in a little bit of the ground of the car in front of you so this is called stopping distance please make sure that you are maintaining a good stopping distance uh, behind another car and while you're waiting for either a stop sign or at a traffic light please make sure that you're checking your mirrors both sides left right a rear view mirror and all that keep yourself busy and so the more you are busy the better it is the examiner will know that you're an active driver and you are actually looking all around okay so we will be turning right on kent street west so uh, we are waiting for the, the the stop sign there's a lot of traffic so guys um, this video if you like the video please make sure that you're sharing this video with your friends families whoever is going to have a road test here at a Lindsay um, so it's a very good uh, location for the G test the highway is very easy so it's not a very crowded uh, city here in, uh, in Lindsay um, so share the video make sure you guys are leaving me some good comments uh, so that I can be mo motivated to do more videos for you guys and uh, so you guys can take advantage so again we are moving slowly um, there's traffic so when you reach to the stop sign so sometimes what happens is the car in front of us when that stops the car behind thinks that okay we already made the stop but that's not counted so please make sure that you are coming to a complete stop so I'm gonna go here come to a complete stop check my rear view mirror left center right left again now there's uh, there are cars coming so I will creep in a little bit there's no pedestrian I'll creep in and I'm uh, checking left side to make sure there are no cars then I can make my right turn it is a little bit busy so I'm not moving I'll wait for uh, the cars okay so it's all clear and I'm gonna make my right turn right here so please make sure that you're staying on the right lane you might be asked to change lane either here or after the traffic light most likely after the traffic light because uh, this is the time when you're recovering um, so after the traffic light you might be asked to change your lane to left the speed limit here is 50 please make sure that you're maintaining a good speed limit here any intersection coming your way please make sure that you're checking left right all around so uh, be aware of the traffic around you also the mirrors uh, for G test it's very important that every five to ten seconds you're checking your mirrors very important okay so the cars are gonna move now green light we're slowly moving in so I'm passing an intersection I will still look left right so to make sure everything is clear so you will be asked to change lane to left so check your rear view mirror signal to the left check your blind spot and nice and smoothly change lane to left just like this and then once your four wheels are inside the lane you turn off your signal so that's how you uh, turn off your signal once your four wheels are completely into the uh, the lane so you might be asked to change lane back to right so um, you can do that when it's safe so mirror signal blind spot to the right and i'm gonna change my lane when it's safe nice and slowly i'll change my lane because the highway is very short and they're gonna make you to do a lot of lane changes here on the regular road instead of the highway and then you will be asked to go left again so when you're asked to change lane back to left then again the same thing we do mirror signal blind spot to the left and i'm going to change my lane back to the left and just like that and i'll continue upcoming traffic light you will be asked to make a left turn so let's prepare ourselves uh, for the left turn and uh, we will continue again the speed limit is 50 so we will stay at 50 and right at this traffic light we will be turning left so mirror signal blind spot to the left and where the broken white line starts you will have to get into the lane again uh, so it's a red light we're waiting for the red light here uh, every time you're waiting for a red light please make sure that you are checking you're doing a good traffic check on g test multiple times it has mentioned about the traffic check very important we make sure that we are doing a good traffic check checking your rear view mirror is very important your side mirrors um, checking left also the intersection just keep on scanning the intersection be aware of your surroundings very important so usually at this traffic light it will give you an arrow so if there is an arrow you just continue to go if uh, no arrow then obviously uh, we will go to the center uh, center lane and then we'll wait there we're turning left here again the speed limit here is 50 
So depending on the traffic or weather condition, other than that, just maintain a good uh, 50 speed limit here and stay at 50. Also the following distance, very important. So following distance is very important. Make sure that you have a safe following distance. Always keep a three to four cars distance between your car and the car um, in front of you. So they will take you right on this uh, road and then upcoming traffic light, they will ask you to turn left. So we will be turning left at the next traffic light. So as you guys can see, every time there is a driveway or a, any intersection, I check left, right. So here, as soon as you pass the, the left side intersection, then do mirror signal blind spot to the left. And then we will be merging into the center lane for the left turn. The car in front of me is on the road test. I saw the examiner in it. So guys, um, uh, just uh, please... Uh, be uh, very alert and maintain a good space between your car and the car in front of you again we are waiting for the red light and i am checking all around and uh, yeah and that's pretty much it so g test is very easy very simple um, there's no parkings in it uh, there it's still modified road test as um, uh, of now that i'm doing this video so there's no parallel parking or any other parkings in it um so pretty easy all you have to do is just to make sure that you know you are a pro in lane changes. So lane changes are very important, uh, especially uh, here in Lindsay. So very important that you should know how to do lane changes. Okay, so I'm waiting here in the middle of the intersection for the left turn. The light turned yellow and I'm going to make my left turn right here. So in here, guys, it's a school zone area. The speed limit is 40. Please make sure that you are maintaining a good speed limit. I would I would go between 40 to 35 or 35 to 40. So maintain that speed. Do not exceed the speed limit. I won't even go 41 uh, because it's a school zone area. So just maintain a good speed limit here. And uh, just continue. Keep looking any intersection coming your way. Just keep looking both sides, left, right. And also keep on checking your mirrors every five to 10 seconds. So be aware of your surroundings. And just like that, very simple. So there is an always stop sign coming up. Uh, we will be coming to a complete stop and you might be asked to turn left here. Yes, so you will be asked to turn left at this, uh, this stop sign and it's an always stop sign. You all know uh, what to do in an always stop sign. Uh, you guys have been trained well by your uh, instructor. So mirror signal blind spot to the left and I will be coming to a complete stop here. Um, so this car, once this car leaves, then I will be stopping again. Um, and I'll be coming to a complete stop here. So when uh, first in, first out. Keep on checking all around. And now I'm going to go halfway in and then I'm going to make my left turn right here. So. And that's pretty much it. So again, um, the speed limit here is uh, 40 as well. So please make sure that you're maintaining a good speed limit. So stay in 40. Do not exceed your speed limit. And then you'll, uh, when we reach to the, the traffic light, you will be asked to make a right turn on Kent Street again. So we will be making a right turn uh, at the Kent, on Kent Street at the traffic light, upcoming traffic light. But the speed limit here is 40, so let's stay 40. And as soon as you pass uh, that intersection, I will start the mirror signal blind spot because I will not turn on my signal uh, way too early because if I turn on my signal now, um, people behind me will be thinking that I'm going into the plaza on the right. So as soon as I pass the intersection, that's when I'm going to be um, turning my signal on. So midway to the intersection, mirror signal blind spot to the right, and then I will go in. So uh, for some reason, uh, there's a bit traffic today. Um, I'm not sure why, but there is some traffic. Guys, just be very careful. It doesn't matter whether it's busy or slow. You just go with the flow. So busy or slow, you go with the flow. That's all it is. All right, so it's a red light. Guys, uh, when you're facing a red light at a traffic light and you're making a right turn, please make sure that you're coming to a complete stop. So come to a complete stop, treat it like a one-way stop sign, and then check for any pedestrian left, right, and then you can creep in slowly uh, so that you have a better visibility of the left side. If there are any cars, if no cars, then you can just go. Just go, turn right, 
And then you might be asked to change lane to left. So we can do a lane change, a mirror signal blind spot to the left, and then you change your lane to left, just like that. And once your four wheels are in the lane, you turn off your signal and just continue. Again, we are waiting at uh, a red uh, traffic light. Uh, when you're waiting, please make sure you're checking all around. Check your rear view mirror, on the right side, left side, all around. So that's what's important. So please make sure that you're checking everywhere. And green light, left, right. Every time you're stopping at an intersection, check left, right. So here the speed limit changes to 60. So you'll be asked to go left here. So mirror signal blind spot to the left. And then we're going to go left, right here. So you will be asked to make a left turn here. We will be turning left at this uh, traffic light. And then from here, it's kind of ramp, but it's not ramp. So it, uh, it, it's, it, it's giving us an arrow. So we'll be turning left, check left, right. And we're going to turn left here. The speed limit here is 50. So um, it's very curvy uh, in here. It is curvy. So try to um, watch for any uh, cars coming out as you guys can see the pickup truck like people are coming out so just watch and be alert of every intersection keep looking left right both sides again the speed limit is 50 here but depending on the traffic um, two stop signs coming up so make sure that you're coming to a complete stop uh, when you're turning right uh, to the highway uh, when we are merging into the highway, there are two one-way stop signs that are going to come our way. Uh, please make sure that you are coming to a complete stop at those uh, two stop signs. Um, again, the speed limit here is uh, 50. So we will stay at 50. And right from here, mirror signal blind spot to the right. And we are going to come to a complete stop right here. So please make sure you stop. Check your rear view mirror, left, center, right, left again. And then we are going to creep in. And then we will be turning right here. So maintain a good gap between your car and the car in front of you. And here uh, we're merging into the highway. So check both sides and then make your right turn here. Guys, uh, the speed limit here is 80. Please make sure you get to 80 ASAP. So this is the highway. It's uh, one lane here. Um, and make sure that you reach to 80 speed limit here. Very easy, very simple. So do not exceed the speed limit. Maintain 80 speed limit here. And uh, keep on checking your mirrors. Um, it's two lanes. Uh, we have the opposite traffic coming as well. And you will be asked to exit here. So right from here, we are going to do mirror signal blind spot to the right. And where the broken line starts, uh, we will be exiting here. Uh, right here. So bring your speed down here. Um, once you reach to that v-shape on the left turn off your signal and drop your speed it's recommended speed limit is 20 there's a yell sign just make sure you're checking left and here you should get back to 80 asap and then you will be asked to change lane back to left mirror signal blind spot to the left and then um get to uh, 80 speeds and then you'll be changing back to 60. so mirror signal blind spot to the right we're changing lane back and from here the speed limit changes to 60 please make sure you're dropping your speed back to 60 here and then continue on this lane uh, unless you're asked to do another lane change but that's pretty much it so they will ask you to do the lane changes right here um, you guys saw the speed limit started from 80 and then uh, it dropped back to 60. So this intersection, just look left, right, and you will be going uh, straight here. We are back on the Kent Street and then we will be going back to the drive test center. So pretty simple, pretty easy, and uh, it's very easy here. So again, we are reaching an intersection here. Uh, we are coming to a complete stop. Uh, come to a complete stop here uh, the light just turned green again like i said earlier every intersection that you're stopping at or you're passing just look left right and continue here you'll be asked to turn right um, we're going back to the drive test center so mirror signal blind spot to the right slow down uh, for the right turn the recommended speed limit is 15 so drop your speed down and then make your right turn right here Again, the speed limit here starts uh, 40, so please make sure you're 
um, driving at 40 speed limit and you will be asked to turn left soon. So right from here, um, you should do check your rear view mirror uh, signal to the left, check your blind spot. And in here, just be very careful. Uh, if there is any oncoming traffic, make sure you, you're stopping or any pedestrians. So in here, and then you're gonna turn left here. Once you turn left, you might be asked to turn right again. So mirror signal blind spot, nice and slowly. And then they will ask you to park in one of the spots here. So then they will pick a spot for you and then you can uh, just park in any of the spots. So I'm going to go straight, turn left here, mirror signal blind spot. And then I'm going to come here, watch for any cars pulling out, any pedestrians here. So like this car. So please make sure that you're coming to a complete stop. Do not push yourself in and uh, just wait for them. And then um, they can pick any spots for you and then you can park your car in one of the spots. So I'm just going to park right here, mirror signal blind spot, and I'm going to park my car right here. That's pretty much it, pretty much it guys. Uh, so that was the G uh, test route number one for Lindsay Drive Test Center. Uh, please uh, make sure that you are uh, sharing this video. Make sure you're leaving good comments to uh, motivate me to do more videos for you guys. And if you like the video, that would be awesome. Uh, thank you for being with me until this time. Take care and please make sure you're following me for more videos.